the climate change and the global uh, new adjustments that we are going through is a new phenomena and therefore it needs to be strategically and policy driven and many a time the impacted society are not really ready to cope with it and therefore the move by ADV to tune up is uh, technical staff senior staff to uh, think uh, a new with a new paradigm shift that how to program activities in a way that will be climate smart in the coming days. So this is, I think, a very, very new concept, and it should percolate down to the policymakers across the countries also so that the value or synergy that comes out of it could be very immense. Well, my, my basic uh, assumption has been that the climate change is going to affect everyone, whether middle, poor, or rich. But the real burden of the climate change impact is really on the uh, underprivileged and lower income groups, which is across the countries. If we take the South Asia, around 40% of the people are nearly poverty line, another 10% are poor. So we are talking about half. And in terms of humanity, that's a very large number in South Asia. And these people are going to be very une unequally affected by climate change. Take one example. We have just released last month one study on nutrition, which has been carried out for low-income families in urban and rural Bangladesh. Urban slums and rural families and low-income families have been chosen. And we are amazed to see how the changes are taking place because of the scarcity of the food, inflation, non-availability and accessibility, the whole nutritional imbalance is there, resulting in almost a large section of the community is being born and getting stunted, shorter by intergeneration, which is a huge change as far as a nation that we need to consider. Then comes to the question of even underweight babies. The pregnant mothers are not getting enough nutrition. As a result, at birth, underweight babies are increasing more in the low-income families. That means a social inequity at birth unequal, which is, a, which is a very serious concern for a society to look at. So I see that there is a tremendous impact emerging out of the climate phenomena because of the already existing exposure level that is there of the low-income families, but they will pay the most burden. And therefore, they need to be targeted with special programs to take care of these type of phenomena.